Hi everybody, this is Kyle, the Icon Poly here. And today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, detailing out some of the sculptures in foam. We're doing this sculpture right now. We just thought it was an opportunity we could jump in here and kind of show you how we get the look that we get uh, after we get to a certain stage. So uh, this, this was done in the computer and milled out. But then, of course, uh, the milling bits don't get the detail that we want. So uh, what we've done here is we're going in and we're refining everything. We're working on the main right now. And uh, to start with, uh, the main is just kind of like a uh, big old flowing uh, looking foam and then we want to get a little bit more air detail in it. So the first thing we do is we take a, a rotary die grinder and uh, a rotary file a lot of people call or a conical grinding bit. And we come in there and we do uh, our detail in that uh, main before we do anything else. So it's just kind of an artistic thing. Uh, there's no set pattern or anything. We kind of follow the weight. So we have, so we have big flowing areas. Then we go in with this. We create uh, medium size flowing areas, and now we'll go in and uh, refine them with uh, these other tools. So we're going to drop this down. Once, once we have the die grinder. Uh, detail in there. Then we come back and we have a series of files and you can get these anywhere, hardware stores or something. They're a little hard to find but uh, we found them from an importer. We buy a whole bunch of them and then remodel them to make our own tools. But anyway, really once once this is in here, all, it, all you have to do is you just go in and it'll refine those edges and then you can use the edges of these to make different hair patterns in the detail. So we'll go over that whole piece that way. Like here, I want to get a little bit more depth right here. So I just take that and do that. like the way that flows a little bit better. So we'll just go over the whole the whole piece. I'm going to make this pair look like it comes in and falls in behind this. Now this is refining the hair detail a little bit more. Once, once we get this done then it, we go into a different process in the coating process of the foam. And in the coating process, we'll actually put in a little bit even, even finer detail. So each one of these strands end up becoming looking like multiple strands of, of hair. So that's how we do that. We go over the whole surface of the piece. Now another thing that happens after we do a milling, uh, because everything we do starts out as a computer file and then we mill it into foam. Now this happens to be EPS foam, we'll do HDU foam, it just depends on the project. This project uh, uh, budget wise we needed to use H or EPS foam which is expanded polystyrene foam for any of you that don't like initials of stuff. HDU foam is high density urethane foam. It's a lot more expensive. So this EPS foam, uh, that's what the budget called for on this. Now uh, other areas that we're, you're going to find after the piece is milled, if you come around here, the milling bit can only do so much detail. It depends on, on the conical of the bit or the end of the bit, uh, the nose of the bit. This was milled with a ball nose bit. And you can see that the straps and everything as they flow into the body, they're not real defined. Some people leave that, we don't like that. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll detail all that out and take those uh, edges off of there and undercut that so it actually looks like it is a strap laying up against the body of the horse. Now again, this won't be to final detail. What it's, what I'm 
what we're doing here is we're getting that to a point that when we come back and we coat it, we can actually make it look as if it's just uh, a strap laying over the body of the horse rather than uh, rather than like it's just one piece, just everything blended in. Uh, it just adds a little bit more realism and detail to the piece. If the piece, when you get it painted, uh, it'll, or when you paint the piece, if that's what the piece is being, and that, if that's how it's being finished, then uh, it allows you, having those, it allows you to be able to get detail without going in with an airbrush and actually doing the detail itself. It kind of comes out naturally in a paint job. So that's uh, how we come back and we refine all those edges in a piece by hand after, after we've done the initial milling. Also, what you find when you do a milling and do a computer file, this obviously this file is done very small, uh, so the computer can handle it. When we increase the size, things get out of whack a little bit. So the saddle is way too large. We're going to come in a little, a little bit later and we're going to thin that out. Um, the shape is there and everything's there, which is which is nice. This is done and we've used this horse a couple of different times in the computer model. We just have to change the shape of it, um, but. Uh, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna take the size of that saddle down. But anyway, this project is for Wall Drug in South Dakota, and I know in the video this video you can't see the whole horse. If you want to see the whole horse, uh, you can go to our uh, Instagram. I think there's a post on Instagram, and go to the Instagram uh, uh, and look at it there. Uh, we'll probably put a. Uh, picture of it up on Facebook as well. So that's a little bit how we detail out foam after it's already milled and uh, we get our final detail. If you have any questions feel free to just uh, send me a message or something and and I'll answer whatever I can. Thank you.